Hello all, in this video I want to answer a frequent question in Hyperview uh, which is related to contour, uh, whether nodal or elemental contour and frequently we get the information or the question how can we get access to the maximum um, value inside uh, a given part. Um, there are multiple, multiple ways to do it. Let me start with the first one which is to create what we call the derived result. In order to create this mathematical uh, contour, or contour created by math in Hyperview, you need to make sure that your result math template is set to advanced. Then you can right-click, create derived result, and in this derived result, uh, we'll say that we'll go to the model library, which appears only if you're with the result math template advanced, and you see a couple of keywords starting with BC. BC stands for bind, bounding uh, control. A stress elemental results in explicit is bounded to element. And displacement is bounded to not. So this BC allows to move from an elemental result to a part result. So what is the best way to uh, use it? So first, feel free to look at the description. So assign values bound to elements to the attached parts. Three keywords, the source, which is the contour, uh, scalar recommended, aggregate, uh, you can aggregate to get the average, the sum, the mean, the max, the extreme, and the table of elements. So now how to use it. Uncheck high default arguments, go double check on BCLM to part, and you will see some arguments already populated. Let's move from average to max, and now let's go to the table of controls available. Let's take the stress, and as I mentioned, it's better to define a scalar directly, so I will take for me this inset. And I will call it max von Mises. Apply. Okay. And if you go now to contour, you can go to uh, max von Mises per part apply and you will see one color per contour because all the elements of the part will be assigned with the same contour value. So this was method number one. Uh, let's have a look at the method. Let me come back to stress. One way you can do our query information in an interactive way is to go to element um, or to query table three and switch from elements to components select the components of interest and you see that by default you have the contour stress max value the contour stress max id so this is one way to do it but it's an interactive way um i got some users asking hey can we export this from tcl um no you cannot export uh, this information from tcl it's not supported for the component uh, in the tcl code and now let's have a look at the third method, which is uh, by using the report. Uh, when you use the report, uh, you can create a new report, either a PowerPoint or a doc, or PowerPoint-like, because it's not supporting only um, PowerPoint Microsoft, but also Google Docs, for instance. Um, just as a reminder, if you go to File Preferences um, and Report, you can change uh, the layout templates to use your templates instead of the default one, which is quite uh, a must-have for such tools. And we can say, okay, let's populate a new report. So the, the first time you run it in the session, it takes just a few seconds to load and right-click, add modules, results, loop results, or you could take it from there. So I want to loop results uh, over all components no need to say had displayed, so it could be all, or you can select the components of interest for you. Um, so it could be displayed uh, by contour, values uh, larger than zero, proceed, for instance. And let's pick only the active load cases. You can exclude entities. Uh, you can start the loop with component because we just take one node case. Um, you can export all and you can have to create a table. And this will say, okay, let's add 
So it could be a slide layout and say one image with description, for instance. But just the ID is then to run, right click run. And there will be a loop over all the parts. So it can be take a couple of time. So I will pause it uh, the time for the all the items to be processed. And I will complete the explanation after a while. So it took me some couple of extra seconds. And uh, now if I go back to report, you can see that I have a stress from Mises, which is uh, available. And if you scroll, uh, you can have an high here where you will see, um, so sorry, um, for text file, it would be easier if you look at, uh, no, sorry, I was not on the table. If you look at the table, you can see the different information and uh, at any moment then you can export your presentation. Uh, here I did just already the example once. Okay, so let me reload it. And once it will be completed, it will open automatically. And you will see that all your pictures and table will be already uh, mentioned into the, into the slides with the different results. Uh, the added value of the report, uh, there are a couple of them. It's not only you can get the tables, but also the screenshots. And also everything that you do with the report interactively you can retrieve them in the hwc commands, which is somehow the command TCL file for Hyperview. Uh, we call it the hwc language, and you can right-click on any command to copy it to TCL. And from 2024, you will be able also to copy it to Python. So here are the methods. Um, hope it helps. See you later for another video.